Tails doll, I have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? I... Don't know. Who do you think? I don't think it's any of them. Mm, I honestly think, I think it's... it's the conductor. Yeah. Well, who do you think is... Let's just click one of them, huh? Who do you think will take it the most well? Trinity Vector? Just to throw it out there? Yeah. Hmm, I don't see a character explaining reasoning. Oh, well, um, when I put on the spot like this, it's hard to explain. Maybe I'll pick someone else. Okay, we're gonna just go down the list again. I don't see a character explain. Uh, so sweetie, let me think again. Hmm, who killed Sonic? I don't see it. Oh, well, um... Think Doll, who was one circus shadow didn't see when he was walking through the train? Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic? Wait! That only leaves Tails or... No, it would leave, um, Espio. Right? Oh, okay. Espio, you were the one who murdered Sonic, weren't you? Oh, that's me. <gasps> I didn't know such thing, my young friend. But if it's a battle of which you wish, I should, would love to discuss things. So let's discuss. What the? You're accusing Espio? We already talked about this. The man was reading. You have nothing. Restarting Espio's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. Espio was locked in the library car reading. He only had access to the stone car during the murder. However, new evidence has come to light that leads to needs to be addressed. New evidence? Oh, that's right. Doll, could you fill everyone in? What did we find that brings into question Espio's alibi? Espio could have left the library car at any time because Tails and I found a hidden passage through from the library car to the lounge car. In the lounge, a hidden passage exits through the wardrobe. I feel lucky we even found it. Not only would Espio avoid any locked doors, but that would put him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence I used any secret passages. I answered all your questions without fall. I was cheating the entire time, remember? It's true, you didn't miss a question. But I think Doll and I can explain that too, Doll. How did Espio know everything in the train? Everything in the train manual he was reading. A ninja like him speed reads. No. <laughs> um, Espio's a ninja. He's fluent in 17 different languages and remarkably disciplined. What are you getting at? You picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it. Just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. <gasps> what? That... That's you. Oh, that's absurd. Memorizing a whole book. I know this is a talented bunch, but that seems like a lot. I don't know. It's plausible. Espio is particularly skilled. Mm-hmm. I've known Espio for a long time. He once read, read a book I was reading just to spoil the ending for me. Wow. <laughs> if I'm right and Espio quickly memorized the book before entering the hidden passages, then Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car where he was murdered. Since we're only talking what ifs, let me throw something at you. How was I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden. That's right. How would Espio... Oh, that's you. <laughs> that's right. How would Espio even know... have known there was... It was there. Uh, you said it yourself. You said, oh, I thought that was Espio. You said it yourself, kid. You were even lucky to find the passage. Doll, Doll and I might not have evidence to answer your question, but we know someone who does. Doll, who here has evidence to prove that Espio knew about the hidden passage? Rouge, we need to see those blueprints. Blueprints? Oh, that's you. Blueprints? You stole blueprints? Whatever, I already used it to scout for more treasures. Came up cold. You can have it. Blueprints are added to the inventory. This right here is a blueprint to the entire train. SB could easily use this to find the hidden passage. What makes you think I ever saw those blueprints? Rooch had them. Well, Doll, do you have an answer for him? How could SB have seen those blueprints? SB found them before Rooch did. Rooch, where did you find the blueprints? Oh, uh, the library car was stuffed with brochures. I checked the saloon car first and found the blueprints after leaving. So that means Espio had time to find the blueprints and discover the hidden passage. In my theory, Espio looked at the blueprints and then used the hidden passage to get to Sonic. With Amy, within Amy's guidelines, the murderer can't kill a single participant however they choose. The logistics are still vague, but Doll and I have evidence on how Sonic was murdered. I am unsure how much harm Espio caused Sonic, but Doll and I have evidence to know it was done. Hmm. <laughs> oh, this is rich play tale. If I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? A blow dart? Broken arm. Blow dart? Yeah. Okay, now to form my arm in. Come on, focus. Okay, you better not be Ow. 70. It's 60.
I hate that one. Oh, crud. Oh, Jesus! Ah, oh. uh, it's okay. Let me try again. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, was that hard. This blow dart was found here in the conductor's room. I believe Tails will use... Or I believe Espio used this to knock Sonic unconscious. Ah, uh, so you mean... Sonic might just be knocked out? I'm... I'm sure he's more banged up than what a blow dart would do. According to Amy's rules, a blow dart counts as a kill for the murder mystery. My theory, therefore, is plausible. Plausible, you say? Then why are there so many holes in it? You deny the allegations? Of course I do. Let me present the first fatal flaw. If I knocked out Sonic in the conductor's car, then I was Sonic found in the dining room. Asher does good point, but tails along to something, I'm sure of it. Uh, uh, go for it. I locked all the doors and Espia didn't have a key. He would have to take the hidden passage back. If he took the hidden passage back, he'd end up in the library. Doll and I know another way it could have been done. We, we do? What piece of evidence do you have to take a closer look at? Robot arms? Blow dart? Train map? I don't think this is the right direction. What evidence? I don't think this is the right evidence. Alright, now what's my argument? We're getting closer. Think, doll, think. Damn! Okay! 65 now. Ugh! Bad landing. Oh, Dang. if I didn't get hit, let's give another try. Big oof. Okay. Yay. Yay. Let's take a look. If Espio didn't take the secret passage to get the dining car, then what did he take to get Sonic here? Gasp! There's there's a path on the conductor car. It all goes... It goes all the way to the dining car. Huh? I didn't even see that area. Is there some sort of long attic? According to these blueprints, there's a hidden path in the ceiling that leads straight to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it through the vent over there. Gasp! The vent, of course, that must be the entrance to the path. Allow me to check it out. My word! Oh, that's you. There's the path back there on tr and a track. A track, huh? Uh huh. A track for the robot arms, I think. This must be the path the arms take to move through the train. So you're saying I somehow fit that old Sonic in that van and took him to the dining car? Cass, sm Tails, you're a smart kid, so I know you realize we both couldn't fit up there. SP is right, this feeling's family to him. I need an answer. My name's getting dragged around here. How on earth would I get Sonic through the vent? Ah! Oh, Sorry. Right. This is fun. This is fun. Oh shit! I got hit twice. Concentration central. Everyone saw the broken robot arm on the ground, right? Clearly, a fight broke out here, and one of these robots' arms is a casualty. But what if one of the robot arms actually caught Sonic? Knuckles said that a robot, the track that the robot arm used, that continues through the vent. A robot could have grabbed Sonic, passed out from the dart, and carried him to the dining car. C could th oh, that's you? Could that be true? Take a look at Sonic. He's clearly banged up. Could the fight between been between Sonic and the robot arms? Gasp. I can see that. Those arms do look powerful. Sonic doesn't fall... Oh, that's you. Oh, Sonic doesn't fall easily. But if he's in a woozy, 
from a blow dart and the arms could have fought him. Interesting theory, Blade, uh, Tails, but you do, you, but you have to admit these are a lot of coincidences. I might not be able to link expect, uh, to everything to directly to SPO yet, but I found one inconsistency. Gasp. What kind of, uh, that's you. What kind of inconsistency? Someone here received false information. I believe that information came from Espia. Who received that information? Birthday girl. Amy, you received a hot scoop, didn't you? I think it's time you told us where that scoop came from. Gasp. Tails, you're you're right. Espio lied to me. Espio told me Shadow was locking doors to trap Sonic, but we found out Sonic was trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise. That scoop came from you, Espio. Hung! No, of course not. Amy must have misheard me. Misheard you? Yes, I said, uh, Sonic's going to get trapped with all these locked doors. I was just looking out for my fellow passenger's safety. I didn't blame Shadow. I don't know, SBO. W what? The evidence may not be airtight, but there's a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. I have to agree. You want us to believe that you were lazily reading the whole time? While you were stationed in a room with a hidden passage? Yeah! And now you're lying to me on my birthday of all days? That's a game. I believe the... <laughs> it's the game, literally. I believe the murderer used the trans controls to move Sonic from the conductor car to the dining car and lied to Amy, casting further blame on Shadow for no other reason than to cause doubt and confusion. Then, when examining everyone's alibis, one to clearly stand out as the weakest. I believe it's clear to everyone that it only could have been one person. And it was you, SBO. You were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Gasp. Gasp. Triple dot. Triple dot. Sonic? Hey, guys. Sonic, you're okay! Sonic, just as we solved the mystery. SBO was the murderer. Right. Oh? <laughs> SBO jumped me at, in the conductor car. Dang it, you got me. A blow dart, though? Really? It's, un it's not lethal poison. You'll just be sleepy for a while. Great, I could use a nap. No, wait, there's something important. SBO left me there. Something important? We need everyone to listen. The train's a bad... What? A bad milk? Sonic, are you feeling all right? Need to lie to... Do you need to lie back? Oh, that's you. Whatever. No, we all need to get off this train. We're not safe. What? When I arrived at the conductor's car, the conductor was already here. He was so excited to tell me of the features of the train. But when he was stealing me, I had a bad feeling. I asked to see the power source. The conductor hadn't even seen it. When we took a look, we realized the train's powered by a flicky. A flicky? The tiny animal? There's only one person twisted enough to use a flicky as a power source. Dr. Eggman. I told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed, but he refused. The way the conductor was describing it, it's more than a simple badnik. It's the conductor's friend. The crane is his co-conductor. You're not serious. They uh, certainly didn't tell me about that in the interview. Right as we saw the flicky, a little sting in my shoulder. It was this blow drop from Espio. Gasp. Triple dot. Triple dot. Triple dot. SBO left. Triple dot. Oh, yeah, I know. The lights in the room started to glow red. Triple dot. Triple dot explanation mark. Hey, stop. What are you doing? What are you I doing? Oh, I don't even know. I knew something was wrong and stood up. The arms came to me next. I spin dashed right through the robot arm, sliced it off the rail, and it was on. Wow. I'm amazed he was able to see that all of this poisoned. But another robot arm managed to grab me and pin me to the floor. Ah, oh. That's you, actually. I'm sorry. You could scream again. I already did it. Do it again. No, it's good. Ah, oh, come on. The conductor screamed as the arm approached him, but I was hit quite a bit before it let go of me. So, it turns out it wasn't a game. Oh, no. Triple dot, triple dot, triple dot. Everyone, I have something to admit. Triple dot, I murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, I really knew that. Triple dot. The situation has gotten so serious. Why would you not just tell us? I thought that's how these murder games worked. You shoot someone with a blow dart, they die. Are you crazy? It's just a make-believe game. No one should get hit with a blow dart. Triple dot. I was just following the rules. Use this blow dart on Sonic Station in the conductor car. It is laced with non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you for choosing the Mirage Express. Stat, dash, stat. See? What is that? It says, use this blow dart. Oh, we already read it. Thank you for... What is this? Instructions? I was given the blow dart along with the card. It's signed staff. Who gave this to you? Come to think of it, one of the robotic arms handed it to me. Triple dot explanation mark. Weapons shouldn't be allowed on the train. What is the larger picture here? Who instructed these arms to attack? Who or what? Doll, who do you think attacked Sonic and handed us via the blow dart? The train itself. I think, I believe something's been orchestrating these things behind the scenes. Something wanted Sonic out of the picture and for a good while, so I think the train itself is plotting something. 
Triple Dot Explanation Mark. First, we learned about the train's bad, a uh, bad Nick, Triple Dot, and now it's about to get us. That's you. Once again, you keep saying the most ridiculous nonsense. You're seriously convinced that the train has out to get us. I don't know what the train's full intent is, but clearly it's been tampering on our murder mystery game. Train? Triple dot explanation. Come out and show yourself. Amy, it's my birthday. I don't need you messing with it. Amy's hitting the wall with her hammer. I'm Let's with see. you, Amy. This train can have it. Come on, there's gotta be another way to get the train's attention. What was that? We shut it off, I guess. Or put emergency lights? What did you do? Is that the conductor? Mm -mm. <laughs> Here, I can get him down. Uh, do you want to do... Him. Okay. Gasp! Gasp! Is the train talking? Of course I can talk, you fools were too distracted playing your little game to figure it out. Oh, and there were arms everywhere. We were right, weren't we? What are you plotting? I'm taking all of you to Eggman's base. Where you will rot. Eggman? After I deliver your annoying party right to his egg fortress. Annoying? The conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games, ride the open rails, and we like we always planned. Oh no, he's jealous of his wife. He doesn't want him to retire. What are you? Enough. The train's picking up speed. Everyone grab something. Sonic, triple dot. Which one of these buttons turns the train off? Whoa, Sonic. Ha ha ha. Oh, that's ha, you. Ha, 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 ha. Stay put until we arrive. <laughs> You're doing a good robot voice, I'll say that. <laughs> ah, whoa, no, no. I can't keep my footing. Ah, so much screaming. Dang. You know, we're at an hour and 27 minutes, but is there more to this? Is this enough? I don't know. I guess I'll split whatever's left in half, I guess. Mm, a bunch of evidence is falling out of pocket. Ugh, uh, my head. Tails, Amy, ah, uh, is anyone here? Hello? Triple dot. Hello? No need to yell, bud. S Sonic, I'm so sorry. Uh, are you okay? Hanging in there. It seems the train arms threw us back into the dining car. But where's everyone else? A great question, but for now, are you all right? Sonic the Hedgehog asking about me. I'm doing amazing. Wow, amazing, huh? You must have a share bit of enthusiasm with me. I uh, might have overcompensated there. Let's get up errands and take a look around. Good idea, lead the way. Hey, those are, are here too. Wow, it swiped at me. Best leave it alone. The train's definitely mad at us. Good call. We gotta get out of here before the arm swipes at us. That yellow glow is chilling. I missed when it was just showing us the weather. The explanation point. What's... Well, that's better than yellow, I guess. <laughs> oh, Eggman. I guess I'll do him. Hello? Hello? Anyone there? Why is no one responding to me? I miss the yellow glow already. You got some nerve stirring up here, Egghead. Oh, ho, ho, you spiky blue pest. Seem you've finally taken passage on one of my passenger trains. You own the train? Who the heck are you? Don't talk to me. Ah, uh, ignoring that. They certainly didn't talk about you in my interview. My involvement isn't well known, civilian. The infrastructure in your town just isn't, wasn't cutting it. If I were to build Eggman, then... These problems would need sorting out. So I courteously got involved, courageously. I converted some cargo trains into passenger trains for the sake of the public. It's more useful for these future schemes. Let me guess, another death egg, Dr. Predictable. The people fear giant spears, it's science. Let's cut the chase, we're our friends. Judging by my security cameras, your friend, your friends are all locked up in the cars they were stationed in. Se seems like you managed to make the train quite upset. Did you not know this was happening? Heavens no, I'm only now getting caught up. I'm far too busy to notice what a passenger train is up to. You see, the capability of Badnik is normally very basic, but kill... Just kill Sonic the Hedgehog. But for a luxury train, I wanted to make sure things ran without my supervision and report to me if any of you happened to board. The train's capability of intellectual tra... is incredibly extraordinary, unfeatedly accomplished by my genius. So this confirms it. The train really is sentient. Suffice to say, your capture is inevitable. You on the train that desires nothing more than to deliver you all to me. Explanation mark. See, I got to thinking I need to manufacture motivation behind programming. I like to make my bad nicks compete against one another from time to time. It's good for productivity. So I need to do it. A bounty upon my army of bad nicks. First to capture your pathetic creature gets a generous reward. Explanation point. The 
train wants to deliver us to Edman for a reward. Most of my robots ask for something simple like my autograph or whatever, but a highly intelligent train, it may ask for something more interesting. As much as I like reward programs, are you done blabbering, Doc? You can never just win silently, can you? When you're dragged into my abyss, you'll regret the day you ever crossed me, hedgehog. I already do. Get lost. Hehehe, <laughs> ciao. He always know how to get under my skin. This is tough. The train has the motivation and being made by Eggman is no doubt powerful. Not to mention we're all separated. What am I supposed to think? The trains purposely had Sonic knocked out so it could deliver us to Eggman. This whole time we were all in danger. I went along with it. Sonic was really hurt. The conductor's been captured. Should I have been more assertive earlier? I should have done more. Am I at fault here? Oh. Hey! Hmm? I can tell this situation's getting to you. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I... I get it. The road's getting rough. Tough. It's easy to question the decisions what you got here. When negative thoughts hit you, let it pass and keep living. I need you to... Helping me think this through before I do something rash. See, I'm one of those sleep before you think kind of guys. Haha. <laughs> okay, you're right. One second. Before I continue, my sister is, pick is texting me for pickup. Okay. So, I'm gonna pause my recording and then I'll be back. And then please assure me when I come back to unpause the recording or else it'll be really embarrassing for me. Okay. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't even save once. Invincibility, remove pitfalls. Oh my god. We could have made it easier this whole time. <laughs> well, we'll keep playing at regular rate, but we'll see how it goes from now. <laughs> okay, you're right. Let's keep moving forward and make things right. Breathe. Okay. We gotta get to the conductor's car before the train arrives at Eggman's base. The doors have been heavily fortified. How do we get through? Uh, what would you do? The entire day, Tails and I have been asking ourselves what Sonic would do. So, what would you do? What would I do? Well, I'd speed through head on and rescue our friends by any means necessary. Here, stand back. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Wow, with one big wind-up, Sonic's spin dash was fast enough to give get the door to open. Oh. I'm trying to kill this bug that only shows up when I record. How dare it. I know. <laughs> now that the road's clear, nothing can stop us. Better hold on to your pants. I don't think we'll get in, be getting another break after this. Ready to go? Uh... Yeah. Let's, was there anything in the room that I didn't check? I get it. Let me know. Just the up aboves and this. Oh, window. Aw, oh, man. Oh. What, what's wrong? The windows are all covered up now. I never got to look at all the pretty views. Amy was saying the train sites could have BB. I was excited. After all I've been through, I'm sure the train company will offer you some kind of coupon for another visit. That'd be great, as I still don't know where my wallet is. The conductor and I found Vector's ticket in this napkin holder. Huh? What was his ticket doing here? Maybe he confused the napkin for his ticket and his ticket for a napkin? Ha! Huh. Hope his ticket didn't have a ketchup stain. Okay, let's go. Ready to go? I'm ready. All right, let's do this. To the conductor car to end this mystery. Oh, no. All right, our friends are locked in the cars up ahead. In my last adventure, maxing out my ring count gave me an extra boost of speeds. If I grab my string, I should be fast enough to through the next door, too. Ready? Let's do this. Oh, God. And it's the full screen now. Oh, mm -hmm. God. Okay, let's try again, I guess. <sighs> oh. But I did it. <laughs> Yay! Just wait till I see Eggman. I'm gonna cover him. We gotta deal with the trade first. Come on, let's go. Hmm. I'm sorry, I just said your part. I guess I'm in a rush now. <laughs> oh, whoopsies. Sorry, I'll let you have the next one, which is probably Vector and Espia. Oh, or if I ever get there. Okay, we did it. Woohoo! You all came for us. Of course, but let's move. The train wants to take us prisoner and earn a reward. Loza? I reward it. Get off this stupid train. Thank you. Let's go. Yay. Nice. Sonic, it's about time. I thought you were supposed to be fast, Sonic. We gotta move. You two ready? Always. That's buggy. Yes. There you go. Oza. Oh, they locked Amy and Tails in the conductor's 
car. <laughs> okay, say no more, let's go. <laughs> okay, we got it. Sonic! Amy, Sonic, you're here! Hey, this is no way to treat the birthday girl. You're right, I'm ready to stop this train. Time to finish this. Oh, okay. The robot and the conductor are gonna come back. Get ready. Excellent work trapping these pests. Now hurry to me! I must probably dispose of them to bring in my plans for Egg and Menland and destroy another death... and probably another death leg. Uh... Don't turn us into robots. Oh ho ho! Haven't done that in a while. Maybe I will turn you all into robots to give Sage some new toys to play with. Shut it, Eggman! Don't disappoint me, Trey. Hurry it up! I will not fail. My wish will be granted. Your wish? Oh, you mean the bounty? I don't care what you call it. Just bring me those overgrown mammals. Grr, that Eggman. Train. Triple dot. I must get my wish. Explanation point. I will not fail. This is it, everyone. Get ready. We're taking this thing down. Do I have to... Okay. Whoa, okay. Oh, hands. Oh, God. Eh. Let's try again, I guess. Oh, I made it. What? Go for it. None of you could possibly understand. We promised to be together our whole lives. How could <laughs> you just leave like it was nothing? What do you mean, the conductor? He's retiring, you just have to accept that. My wish will keep us together forever. That's what being friends is all about. <laughs> Go for it. You can't force someone to be friends with you. That's messed up. <laughs> shut up. Just shut up. Aw. Dang, how many of this do I actually have to do before I, I can stop? What? Ugh. Eggman, Eggman, can you hear me? My wish, my wish, my wish. Make the conductor never leave me. Let us be friends forever. Oh my god. The kind of friends who would never leave each other. Oh god, this is so sad. Why would he betray me? <laughs> it's so sad. Oh, barely! No. Oh. oh. Sorry. Conductor! You mm -hmm. promised me. You promised. Let him speak! Unhand him! Train, stop this. When I told you we'd be with each other forever, I was... Much younger man, I'm getting old, I'm tired. Excuses, how dare you abandon me? I'll be lonely, so lonely. Why must you insist loneliness upon me? Explanation oh. mark. Now stop, what are you doing to me? Please don't make me do this. We have to risk rescue the conductor if we ever want to stop this train. Okay, let's go, I guess, and do this again. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, uh, well, that's you. A flicky? This is just like the lore card when my ex-best friend left detective work to join Egg Dr. Eggman. So this really was a bad nick. The stakes this rise every I... <laughs> the stakes rise every second, huh? We gotta save him. On it. Let's show our full power. God fucking damn it! Oh, barely. First try though. Yeah. Aw, oh, I bet it's three times the charge or something like that. Go for it. Just... just deliver to Eggman already. What about... what about my happiness? Your happiness comes at the expense of others. Last I checked, that's called being selfish. Me? Selfish? How... how dare you? Oh, oh god! <laughs> Shit, I'm fucked. Yay! Yay! It only took me bringing it down to 70% speed. 
<sighs> oh, no, no, no. No. <laughs> Um. Oh. I'll grab the flicky. Ooh. Over. Time to pay for ruining my birthday. Woo. Oh, that's just a funny shot. The train is slowing down. Great hit, Amy. Hehe, <laughs> it was pretty great, wasn't it? That wasn't... That's what you get from resting with my special day. Conductor. I... I just... Couldn't bear to see you go. I am sorry for the trouble. Oh, no. Huh? Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> I think our work here is done. Now let's get off of this thing. Oh no, conductor. Dot, dot, dot. Thank you. Goodbye, my friend. I may be leaving the rails, but I assure you, I'll never forget our time together. Damn. This is sad. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> well, I'll say I've never been on a train like that before. This universe has a unique way of doing things. Watch your step, watch your step. <laughs> it's over. The mystery of Sonic the Hedgehog's murder is officially over. Go for it. Maybe my maybe next birthday we can just ask Vanilla to make dinner. Oh, you don't like you don't love parties where it, by the end someone tries to kill you? I think I'm actually going to miss this group's unhinged way of thinking. Oh, uh, honey, you're late! I've been waiting here for hours! Ha 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 ha. You'd honestly never believe what happened. So I won't even try. Fa ha, <laughs> fa ha ha ha. I'm just glad you're here. Quick, we leave for Spangonia in the morning and you need to pack. I'll pack faster than the wind. I just need this vacation something terrible okay and i need you home happy first day of retirement dear seems the conductor is more than ready to begin his retirement after this ordeal i'm happy for them both oh who's this ha 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 an old friend i think well they're cute that's for sure uh cheap 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 uh seems that flicky found a friend great job saving that little guy espio it was the least I could do, Sonic. Everyone and seriously apologize for the trouble I caused. Don't be, you were just following what you thought was the game. It's hard to know what I would have done in the same situation. I wouldn't have hit someone with a blow dart. Seriously, a dart? It would have been hard to get close to you otherwise, Mr. Speed of Sound. Regardless, I am sorry. We're cool, and now that we're all safe, it's what's fun. Scroop has a wild idea of fun. Boy, I'm eye starving. I forgot we never ate. With all the... Oh, oh. that's you. Sorry. With all the clatter, I completely forgot I was hungry. Me too, I was distracted playing the detective. If only you, you could have seen me, Sonic. I was finding clues, presenting evidence, poking holes in alibis. Sonic? Wait, where'd he go? Everyone, guess what? That station has a bakery and look what I bought! Ah, a birthday cake! Damn, they made that real fast. Happy birthday, Amy. You wanna say it together? Happy birthday, Amy. Amy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So the confident, unshakable, and radiant Amy Rose. The adventure of her birthday, darling. Uh, I feel like I read something wrong. Go for it. A memorable party every year. To a fun party. <laughs> a ride from the start <laughs> to finish. May our friendship grows stronger each celebration. I admire your tenacity. May you never lose your vivacity. Happy birthday to Amy and her sparkling personacity. Happy birthday! I'm not smart enough to know if a personacity is a word. We love you, Amy. Happy birthday! Ah, ah, you guys! We almost got murdered by a lonely train, but, but... I wouldn't trade these adventures for anything. Never in a million years. You guys won't ever leave me, right? Wouldn't dream of it. Now let's have some cake. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Dig in, everyone. Yay! 
I hope it's chocolate. <laughs> Triple dot. I hope it's chocolate. I also love chocolate cake. Wow. That is so fucking funny. <laughs> Triple dot. That train's never making it here, is it? Triple dot. Orbot, bath bath! The happy rubber duck... Oh, it's Orbot. You want to be Orbot? The ha happy rubber duck or the angry one? Angry! <laughs> it's our choice, your evilness. Shut it! That's so funny. Let's go, Dad. I think there's a, that's actually a reference to a game. Triple Dot. And that's my story of when I met Sonic and his friends. Entangled in their lives for a fleeting moment and then back to things as they were. City realized Eggman was running the train system and fought back to seize control. Everything squeaky clean now. As for me, I... Uh, stuck... Should I stick with the train gig? Quit. <laughs> but... Quit. I, I want to stick. I liked it. Okay. Why are we so different? And then... One millions in the ma lottery or practice my singing? Yeah, lottery. And after all that, I now will run. Managed to fly to space? Yeah, that's just been my life. Damn, okay. Me too, I managed to fly to space. The murder yeah, of Sonic the Hedgehog. Woo! What did we think? Was it, it funny? Was... I liked it. It was more involved than I thought it would be. Yeah, I thought it was just gonna be like a full click and point. Yeah, I was expecting to play a Sonic game, I guess, in a Sonic game. I mean, I don't even know if Sonic games are like that because I, again, I've never played a Sonic game, but it was definitely a game that I had a hard time with and even had to adjust the difficulty settings just so um, you guys didn't have to watch me die nine million times to that last part. You know what I mean? <laughs> it was hard. D -d 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 Director of lore? Ryan Hamlin? Okay. Creative officer. Wow, there's a lot of people who worked on this game, surprisingly. Yeah. Damn. Senior manager, Q&A development support, social media, public relations, sales. Well, I guess sales makes sense. I guess PR. Operations, PC Dev Services, and Publishing, Finance, and HR. Wow, we have everyone from Sega doing this. Legal and Business yeah. Affairs. What? Why do you need... Okay. Scott Murata. Murata. Toru Muramoto. Yusuke Suai. Big the Cat and Dog. Thank you for <laughs> playing. Happy April Fool's Day, observed. Woo! April Fool's Day is actually my birthday. All right! Damn, what a wild day to have a birthday on. Yeah, that's why I was an orphan. I... Oh, I don't know. I mean, if you're... Okay, uh, yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> unexpected Oza Bear lore drop right there. Um, okay. I'm no longer an orphan, so it's okay. She's a reformed orphan. She was picked up by Batman. Yeah, I got claimed. Yeah. She's now Robin. But instead of being a bird, she's a bear. That's how she's the conqueror of bears, specifically. She learned from yeah. Batman. I got an army. And she became... She went to the Antarctica or wherever polar bears are. And, uh... Learned the ways of the bear, and then, then they then decided that she was tired of global warming, uh, and the ice caps melting, and uh, yeah, she decided to take over the world. Working on it right now. I'm lackey number one, not a bear though. But she is part of the plan. Yeah, just not a bear. Just bear in in different. Wise. He has the heart. I have the heart of a bear. <laughs> oh, that was a fly. Yes, I have the heart of a bear. Anyway, everyone, thank you for watching this video today. I'm sure I'm going to cut in the, between this one because this is two hours long. I really should have cut it off at one hour and like done an outro, but I didn't because I thought it wasn't going to be that long, but I was wrong. Anyway, I'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>